what we do is we manufacture the signs for that are sandblasted and uh, also the redwood signs of the U.S. Forest Service. So every time you're going to uh, a Forest Service road, I don't care where in the United States you go to a Forest uh, Service road, you get guided by uh, signs either made by PNM signs or my old firm that I did in Ojo Caliente Crescent. So uh, the reason why I got the National Award in 1984 was because uh, we, uh, uh, no matter what road you travel in the United States, you get guided by my signs. This is a uh, New Mexico scenic byway. I'm sure that you have seen these kind of signs out on your, uh, out on your uh, uh, freeways and, and so on. But uh, this is a multicolored uh, sign. Uh, each one of these transparencies over here uh, is, a, is a different color and a different screen that is going to have to be developed in order to be able to manufacture this sign. So what we do is we start with a, a white piece of uh, 3M reflective sheeting, and then every time we, we uh, each one of these uh, transparencies equals a, a color and a screen. So. Uh, to make all of these different colors up over here, we, this is about a five or six color different type of job. And once, uh, once uh, every, every screen is a different setup in the screening table, so we have to be able to do that. So that's the kind of work that Anthony does up over here. A long time ago when you were doing silk screen, you needed to use a big giant Robertson 500 camera to be able to do what now that computer can do with that plotter. This is uh, uh, Johnny up over here. And uh, what Johnny does is he, he gets all the graphics. We were over there at the graphics department. You see all the graphics up over here. His job is to manufacture uh, screens uh, for this, the screening table. And how he does that is uh, he, uh, he first gets uh, the, uh, a frame and stretches out the, 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 the screen on the frame. And then he brings that frame in here. This is our, our, our developing room. In here, in the room where we put where we put the, the film on the uh, on the screen itself. So what we do is we put film on the screen, and then once the film is is, is uh, sensitized and it's got the uh, uh, sensitized film on it, then it, it, they let the film dry, and the, then all the screens with film get taken into this dark room. Once once the film is dry, it's ready to have an, a, a a transparency exposed to it gets put in this exposing light table. You want to turn it? The exposing light table on time. And uh, once the exposing light table gets turned on, uh, you can see that the screen is there, the transparency is there, and that's what that transparency is going to say on the on the screen itself. Then Gail puts the face on the aluminum or on the plywood or whatever it is that the substrate is going to be. You see a, a, a sign that says, uh, 25 MPH or 20, uh, 55 miles an hour, and it's in, chances are that Gail is the one that put that sign in the back of that sign, uh, in that face of that, uh, that uh, there. Uh, then, of course, all our signs have a little sticker in the back. The highway signs has a big black sticker. All our competitors have white, so whenever you're going down the road and see a big black sticker in the back of the signs, then the sign came from PNM Signs. Andrew is our uh, silk screen. Uh, person up over here, and what Andrew uh, has been working with us uh, for many, many years now. Uh, and uh, up to uh, a thousand signs a day this in, in there and they and they blast it I mean Adrian blasts it up and uh, gets it uh, to a point and then from there he goes inside and he gets hand carved with a hand tool so, uh, that's right it, it's right there the, that's the beginning of Smokey the Bear when you see a forest service sign out there in the road uh, uh, and 
entrance to a U.S. Forest Service system or when you're going to either a state park or a national park or a state park, chances are that red over here had something to do with routing the sign and making the sign come together and making it happen. What we have up over here going through here is a uh, 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 rope vigas that you see all over the state of New Mexico. Uh, there's uh, there's uh, very few people that can actually uh, put together and detail a viga and carve it out and make it look like a rope. And uh, uh, we can do that up over here. <laughs> get it all carved out and everything like that then it's taken and we put uh, uh, linseed oil on it and it turns it into a real pretty color uh, of uh, the big and then you put it of course outside your house and makes your house worth a lot of money because it has a card design. Now this uh, in this room up over here uh, uh, this over here is a uh, Byron. Uh, Byron up over here uh, his job is to uh, paint all the redwood signs and the signs coming in from, from the redwood operation in up over here to be able to uh, uh, make sure that the signs get out of here uh, painted with the correct colors. Uh, this particular sign that he's working on up over here has glass beads so that the uh, uh, sign when you see it at night, it will, the white will reflect because it's got glass beads on it. Uh, this is uh, uh, Sugar up over here. She, she, uh, uh, also is the uh, foreman for the whole operation up over here. She makes sure that everybody's doing their job and everybody's working with what it is that they're doing. And uh, uh, her, sign, uh, her job is to make sure all the sites get laid out. This is what we call the layout department. Um, uh, this, this over here is uh, Rose. And uh, oh, she uh, uh, puts all the facing and everything on the signs and uh, uh, this is the same thing as doing the facing up over there but this is a little bit more difficult because what they have to do is they have to get all the, si the graphics that have been cut at the graphics department brought up over here and then use a different layout so as you can see they lay, the, lay it out sort of like that and then what it comes out is a sign that looks like that. The signs work their way up over here and then they come uh, over here to Chris and uh, what Chris does up over here is uh, he gets the different work orders and the different files uh, uh, um, um, that are coming in here that tells him where this sign is going. As you can see, what, what, what this clean wood chips does, this is what all the other manufacturers of, uh, of uh, composites and, and, uh, and, and people that manufacture uh, uh, particle board and all, they haven't been able to figure out how to make clean wood chips. And that's what I did this in this laboratory that I got up over here is figure out how to do this kind of work. All across the United States and where you go into a city, you'll see these Preserve America signs uh, uh, on the sides of the roads and you'll know that sign came from PNM Signs out of Mountain Air, New Mexico.